Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share with you all tips on how to pass the CompTIA Security Plus exam. But first, let's talk about the certification and why it is so valuable. Uh, before I move forward, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos. The CompTIA Security Plus certification is a globally recognized standard for cybersecurity knowledge and skills. It's an entry-level certification that validates the baseline skills necessary to perform core security functions and to pursue an IT career. The Security Plus certification is designed for professionals with two years of experience in IT administration with a focus on security. By passing this exam, you truly do demonstrate that you have the necessary skills and knowledge to perform core security functions such as network security, compliance, operational security, threat analysis, and risk management, and of course, incident response. You also become eligible for various well-paying positions in cybersecurity such as a security analyst, security engineer, and security consultant, and there's many more. Let's dive into the exam details. The CompTIA Security Plus is a multiple choice exam. It consists of 90 questions. You have 90 minutes to complete the exam and you must score 750 out of 900. So that's about a minute per question. And I didn't find that I was short on time. I actually passed the exam with about 45 minutes left of time and was able to go back through and um, double check all of my answers. So I don't really think that time is, is a big issue in this exam. The exam is designed to test you your knowledge and skills in various domains of cybersecurity. The six domains on the exam are as follows. Uh, number one being threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities. Um, number two being technology and tools. Number three being architecture and design. Number four being identity and access management. Number five, risk management. Number six, crypto cryptography and PKI. Each domain is weighed differently on the exam with threats, attacks, and vulnerabilities being the highest weighted portion of the exam and cryptography and PKI being the lowest weighted domain on the exam. And when you study, like I mentioned in my other videos, you obviously want to focus on the heaviest weighted domains because they um, compiled together, they account for the majority of the exam results. So my recommendation and my thoughts on passing the exam, to pass the exam, you need to have a really strong understanding of each domain. You need to be able to apply that knowledge in real world scenarios. Um, so how can you prepare for the exam and possibly increase your, your chances of passing? Well, I'm gonna start out with just recommending, and like I, I've recommended in my other two videos on A Plus and Network Plus, is to download the CompTIA exam objectives directly from their website. The very first step in preparing for the exam is to download the exam objectives. Objectives outline what you need to know for the exam, and they provide a clear roadmap for your studies. So number two, partnered with the exam objectives. I recommend watching Professor Messer's YouTube videos. Professor Messer is a well-known IT trainer and I've spoke about his videos in my other two videos again, and I'll have those linked above and linked below. Um, but he's a, he's a well-known IT trainer who offers various courses on IT certifications, including the Security Plus, obviously. Videos cover all domains in the Security Plus exam, and they're, great, and they're a great way to reinforce what you've learned in your studies. Um, one thing that I particularly like about Professor Messer's videos is that his videos go in the exact order of the exam objectives. So if you download and print out the exam objectives and you're following them, like you go from the objective in domain one and then 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, uh, his videos are titled the exact same way. So it's very easy, especially if you want to study a specific domain, to look at the number and then go to his videos and be able to immediately study. I wasn't able to find that that's readily available in other courses, which is why I use Professor Messer to really strengthen uh, my understanding of these um, exam domains. My second tip, enroll in Jason Dion's Udemy course. Jason Dion, again, is a highly rated IT trainer who offers a uh, comprehensive course on the Security Plus on Udemy. His, cover, his course covers all of the domains in, in depth um, that are covered on the Security Plus exam and includes video lectures, practice exams, and hands-on labs. So through his course, very big vari variation, the way that he provides the material and his methods of teaching, 
and I found that it's e very easy to stay focused when you follow his material because you have the study guide, you also have the video content, but then you also have the practice exams and the, the um, performance-based questions so that you can get hands-on and really pull that knowledge out of you so that you're retaining it. And then that leads me into my third recommendation, Jason Dion's practice exams. So taking practice exams in general is very crucial in preparing for the Security Plus exam. It helps you identify any knowledge gaps and build your confidence in taking different, type, in taking different types of questions. Um, Jason Dion's Security Plus cor course on Udemy offers a comprehensive set of practice exams to simulate the real exam environment. And I mean, he does a very good job at providing questions that are similar to the questions you'll see on the Security Plus, particularly the performance-based questions. I believe on the Security Plus, I was getting three or maybe even four performance-based questions. Whatever the max is, I always get the max. That <laughs> from looking on Reddit and seeing what other people get, I always get, I always got the max amount of questions you can get on PBQs. Um, and I remember from this particular experience that his were almost the exact same as the ones that I saw on the exam. So it, it was very helpful that, in that way. Now let's talk about some tips for taking the actual exam itself. Let's manage your time wisely, okay? You have 90 minutes to answer, to answer 90 questions, as I stated earlier, which means you have about one minute to answer each question. Make sure you manage your time wisely. Don't spend too much time on any one question. Answer all of the questions. The Security Plus exam does penalize you for guessing. So make sure you answer all of the questions, even if you're not sure about the answer. Pay attention to the PBQs, the performance-based questions. PBQs or performance-based questions are interactive questions that require you to perform specific tasks. Those are very integral to you passing. They're, I think the, the four, those are gonna be the four highest rated questions that you have on the test. Some of them consist of configuring a firewall wall or identifying security vulnerabilities in a network diagram. Uh, PBQs are worth more points than your regular multiple choice exam of uh, exam questions. So make sure you allocate enough time to, so that you can complete all of them. Read the questions carefully. Make sure you read each question carefully and understand what it's asking before answering. Some questions may have multiple correct answers and you'll need to select all the answers in order to get the question correct. And sometimes it seems like CompTIA's questions are purposely deceiving. So make sure that you read the question. If you don't understand it, read it two or three times before you move forward and answer so that way you understand exactly what the question is asking of you. Don't panic. Um, the Security Plus exam is challenging, I'm not gonna lie to you, but don't panic. If you know the answer to the question, if you don't know the answer to the question, take a deep breath, breath, take a deep breath, and use the process of elimination to narrow down the options. Uh, remember, you don't need to get every question right to pass the exam. You essentially just have to get a C. In conclusion, passing the CompTIA Security Plus exam can open up various job opportunities in the field of cybersecurity. By following these tips and using the recommended resources, you can increase your chance of passing the exam on your first attempt. Guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a video. And to all those who are new to IT and are currently pursuing a, uh, a career in IT or are looking to upskill so they can bring themselves up within the field. Good luck, and I'm here if you have any questions. Enjoy.